Hi there, today I'm here to share my CT intro for the Scrappery. Um, I'm lucky enough to have been selected to be a CT member for the Scrappery uh, this year and I'm really super excited about that. I'm very, very happy and feel very, very blessed to be um, chosen to be one of the team members. Uh, okay, so I'll start with, I guess, a little bit about me and I am going to follow through. If you see me looking away from the camera, I do apologise. Um, I'm just looking at the questions that Kayla sort of drafted up as the you know, questions we sort of try and cover off. So I'm going to use them as a guide, okay? So I'm Lisa Skinner. If you don't know already, um, I'm a 40-something year old wife and mum from Victoria. Um, I've got obviously a husband <laughs> and uh, two kids. I've got a 17-year-old daughter who's nearly 18, will be this year and doing year 12, so very challenging year for her. And I've got a 14-year-old son as well and he's doing year 9. So two great kids. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good kids and I love them heaps, of course, and you'll see them featuring my photos. As I said, I'm married. I have been for 20 years this year, so that's going to be a bit of a milestone for us. Um, and, yeah, so we, um, as I said, live in a suburb of Victoria. I work for an insurance company. Uh, I have done only for about three months now, and I work from home. Luckily, I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to work from home for a major insurance company. And we just um, have a base about 20 minutes from our home that we visit um, for meetings once a month and that sort of thing. So it's really great. Uh, prior to that, I worked for a bank, a major bank, for 26 years. And I thought I'd be there forever. But, you know, sometimes life takes some turns and you make some decisions. You have to take some risks, basically. So, yeah. So I uh, loved my time in banking and it was time to move on. And I'm really glad I did. So, yeah, so that's um, about me. What else about me? Um, I love scrapbooking, obviously, and I'll tell you more about that in some of my other questions. And I love my friends and family. I love doing things with my friends and family, uh, mainly going out to dinner or lunch, cafes, that type of thing. Um, sharing good company and good food is always good. I do like to cook as well. Um, we try and cook new and different things at home as well. And I love to go to the movies. I love to watch Netflix and YouTube. What scrapper doesn't really? Uh, what else? I do read occasionally, but I prefer probably Netflix over reading. Um, but I do like to read if the book's really good. Uh, what else do I like to do? Hmm. I sound pretty boring, really. I'm just a pretty ordinary mum and wife, and I'm very happy at that. Um, yeah, and I love my scrapbook, as I say, and yeah, I love all nice things. But yeah, to me, people around me are probably my most important thing in my life. So. Uh, so when did I start scrapbooking and why um, and what drew me to the industry? So I started scrapping when my daughter was a baby uh, and as I said she's 18 this year so I've been scrapping a long time or even before that probably I actually scrapped when I was a young kid in primary school I scrapped in exercise books by cutting out pictures and photos and doing uh, I guess you'd say assignments and things projects for school like that sticking coins in um, and notes and that sort of thing so I did sort of scrapbook in a way then but yeah when my daughter was born the creative memories thing was a bit of a craze and I went along to um, a creative memories party with a friend and loved it loved all the cute stickers and bits and pieces uh, and you look back now they're probably <laughs> quite um, interesting looking but those pages but yeah that you know at the time that's all we had and I really loved it so started there um, and then the industry progressed after that I probably only knew case of craft papers from some local shops how to play with those love that and progressed and progressed as the industry did particularly with online coming available and scrapbook shops and that type of thing so uh, what drew me to the industry was definitely the cutesy stuff pretty stuff bling and stickers stuff like that so yeah definitely always been a stationary fan whether it be stickers and pens and notepads and all those things, so diaries, all those sort of things, uh, which, yeah, don't even start me on the planner craze. I haven't done the planner craze simply because I just feel I can't start another thing. So uh, that's a bit about that one. Do your traditional scrapbook, project life, or maybe cards? I do all the above. I'm definitely a traditional scrapbooker and project lifer over anything else. Um, I do do a bit of the on, beyond the page or have done over the years. And I've certainly done my card making as well. Um, cards probably only make specifically if I'm at a retreat, I might make a couple of cards or with a group of friends as a fun thing to do. Or for a special person, I might make a card. 
Okay, so what influences your scrapbooking style? Uh, photos and product, definitely. So um, obviously photos because they're part of my inspiration. Um, and I want to preserve the memory. So um, yeah, but just looking at the photo and the memories that go with the photo, the colours that are in the photo, they're the things that generally um, influence um what I do with the layout, um, as far as what influences my style, product, I'd have to say product, and just my personality of being a little bit particular, analytical, um, neat, fussy, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> so uh, yeah, and trends and products that are available to us and on the market, they definitely influence my style. Um, I'm definitely happy to get a bit messy with my layouts, but it will be a neat sort of messy, pretty much, so... What are your favourite products to work with? Embellishments, ephemera, yeah, ephemera packs, probably my very favourite thing. I love when they bring out a collection and there's lots of different, like 10 different things in the collection. I want all of it um, and I probably want two packs of ephemera because uh, the one I want to keep to look at and one I want to use. So yeah, ephemera. I like to layer, so that's where the ephemera comes in. Do you have a funny scrapbooking story, something that happened while scrapbooking? Mm. Not really. I had lots of crazy moments when I've been away at scrapbooking retreats. I normally go on one a year with a group of friends and we get a bit silly and a bit messy, as you do with friends, eat too many lollies, and too much sugar and too much maybe a few wines. So, yeah, get a bit silly and a bit funny and laugh at stupid things. So if I was to tell you what some of the things we laughed at, it wouldn't be funny to you because pretty much had to be there. So, yeah, definitely love a good laugh and scrapping with friends. But... The stuff that happens is funny because it's funny at the time. But, yeah, nothing really particular to share there. Uh, what do you love most about scrapbooking? The pretty stuff that you can buy, the product, definitely the relaxation time. Um, I love to just sit at my desk quietly. You know, preserving the memories is absolutely a massive part of it for me that my kids can look back at it one day, grandkids hopefully. Um, it's preserving the memories is huge and to play with the pretty stuff love it so um, my kids often look at what layouts I do even now as a teenager and they'll say oh, particularly my daughter will say oh my god mum I can't believe you scrapped that photo that's so ugly did you put that on the internet or did you send it into the magazine I'm like yeah it's all good none of your friends read the magazine anyway so it doesn't matter but, um, you know, I used to go away scrapbooking retreats, as I said, and I'd come home and they'd ask me how many layouts I've done and it'd be a bit of a competition. I'd have to make sure I'd done as many photos of each of them. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so if you could scrapbook with one person, who would it be? Mm, it sounds totally sucky, but I would definitely say Kayla. Um, yeah, I love Kayla's work. I love her, her style, her taste in the product, um, her videos. I love that she keeps it real. I love that she involves us in the community. Um, obviously, we don't need to know the ins and outs of all of her personal life, but, um, you know, it's to the point of um, prying, but I love that she shares to a certain point that, um, yeah, she's a real person and keeps it real with us. I love that. So, um, yeah, I'd love to scrap with her. I'd, I'd love to go to the retreat. It probably won't happen this year, but... We'll see. Uh, yeah. And, of course, I love Nate too. So when they used to be part of Scrappery, love her videos as well. I know I'm only supposed to say one person, but, you know, I love you too, Nate. So because um, I love her work and I love her. I always say on her videos how, how real she keeps it too. So that's definitely what drew me to the Scrappery in the first place is those girls, their work and how real they keep it. So what are your favourite techniques or maybe techniques that scare you? Techniques, definitely layering, and I've mentioned that already, but I do love to layer. And I love the look it gives and I love how it creates texture and interest to your page. So, yeah, layering. And technique that scare me, no, nothing really scares me. Um, I'm happy to give anything go, masks, texture paste, gesso, watercolour, tried, tried nearly everything and I, I love it all. Um, it just depends on the collection I'm using, the photo I'm using and so on. Nothing scares me. I don't like a lot of mess, but I just keep baby wipes handy and clean up as I go. It's all good. Um, what scrapbooking trends have you have been your favourite and what trends are you happy to see the end of? Gold, gold and more gold. I love it. Um, I don't want it to end. It's funny because a few years back I used to think gold was so gaudy and yucky and I was like, mm, it's horrible, but I love it. And I want it in stickers, I want it in ephemera, I want vellum, acetate, everything gold, gold, gold. 
um, if the trend ever ends, I'll be okay because I've got so much of it that I don't have, doesn't have to end for me. I can just keep using it. It's all good. I'm happy. Uh, and emerald dots and gold, they're amazing. Gold glitter, they're hard to get, but I've got them and I love them. Happy to see the end of. Hmm, trying to think. This is things that years ago I did hate. Probably paisley pattern papers. Not a real fan of those. And weird ephemera pieces like lips and zebras and strange things. Who wants that stuff? Like, I don't know. I know you can use a zebra in a zoo layout, but to me, you've got a photo of a zebra. You don't need a picture of a zebra as well, but that's maybe just me. But, yeah, it's all good. I just keep those in my coloured embellishments if I don't use them or I layer them, you know, behind things. You don't know what they are, so it's all good. What do I love most about the scrappery? Well, definitely the kits. Amazing kits, amazing product, amazing value. Amazing um, to get a bit of everything that's sort of new and current in the market. Uh, it's a really great way to get the kit if you want a taste of things, a taste of a particular collection, a taste of, you know, if you haven't tried thickers, you'll get some thickers. If you haven't tried particular um you know embellishments like certain paper clips you'll get those so there's always something different maybe flair maybe you don't have a big collection of flair you'll get a couple of flair to build your collection if you don't have a lot of washi you might get a bit of different washi to build your collection so i love it's versatile it's usable kayla has amazing taste uh, as i mentioned before and the product she puts together is honestly amazing um, very easy kits to use and great value for money now i'm not just saying this because i'm on the ct i have subscribed to the TSK, which is a scrapper kit, the main kit, and the pre little kit is the Project Life kit for quite a while now. Um, and I'll be getting the BPK as well, which is the bits and pieces kit. So I'm very excited about that. And try it, you'll see for yourself. It's just an amazing product. I also love the caliber of the CT members that we've had uh, in the past and currently. And I'm very excited to be part of that. I can't believe I'm part of it. So. Yeah, the videos, the quality, the work they produce, the activity on Instagram and Facebook, it's consistent and I love it. Okay, and I also love what extra goodies that Kayla gets into the shop. It means that I can add a few things to a cart and get them delivered with my kit just for a small extra postage cost. So I really love that. So I think that's it about me. I'm sorry if I've rambled and looked away from the camera. I'm certainly not a person that takes selfies or films myself regularly. I do have my own YouTube channel where I film, but you just see my hands and hear my voice. You don't see my face. I don't get my photo taken regularly, so now it's out there what I look like. So, hey, keeping it real. Um, that's my motto for the year. Um, if you have any questions, please leave some um, comments down below and I'll answer them. Anything you want to know, anything you want to see this year, I'll be doing the TSK with the BPK. So I'll mainly be sharing 12, by 12 layouts. I will certainly continue to share my own PL photos or spreads that I do. Um, and as I say, any questions, let me know because I'm happy to share and said I can do to help you okay so um, thanks again guys um, take care bye